On hand is ASRock's new Fatality B150 gaming K4 motherboard, an affordable motherboard which, as the name suggests, is aimed squarely at gamers. One would think the word Fatality in the product name would be enough of a hint that this is a gaming focused product, but in case you don't know who Jonathan Wendell is, ASRock made it blatantly obvious by adding the word gaming. With the global PC game revenue surpassing consoles, hitting over $90 billion this year, and the gaming hardware market worth over $67 billion in 2014, it's no wonder everything from the humble computer mouse to 30 inch plus monitors having gaming slapped all over them. Gaming is big business, and we can't really criticize ASRock for capitalizing on the fact. They certainly aren't alone. Having said that though, what makes the Vitality B150 Gaming K4 motherboard worthy of the name? For starters, despite the surprisingly low $100 asking price, it looks very much like a motherboard you would easily pay $200 plus for. Quality features such as the killer E2400 network controller and ASRock's Purity Sound 3 are included. Not just that, but Crossfire X is also on the menu. This all sounds great and frankly a little difficult to comprehend given not just the board's price but also the chipset used. The key to the Fatality B150 Gaming K4's affordability is inclusion of the Intel B150 chipset, and the irony being that this is a business chipset on a gaming motherboard. Almost always, gamers will rule out any B150 motherboard for a few reasons. Overclocking of any kind isn't supported, there are very few PCIe chipset lanes, multi-GPU technologies aren't supported, there are fewer USB 3 ports and high-speed storage interfaces such as SATA Express and M2 aren't supported either. But wait a minute, the Fatality B150 Gaming K4 has almost all of these things. There really isn't any legitimate reason why the B150 chipset can't support most of these features. Rather, Intel imposes these limitations to make their more expensive H170 and Z170 chipsets more appealing to the consumer. As a result, there are a number of B150 motherboards from makers such as MSI and Gigabyte that support Crossfire, along with SATA Express and M2. Still, bang for your buck, we don't think the Fatality B150 Gaming K4 can be beaten. It was previously unthinkable to find features such as a 10 power phase design, Nishikin 12K platinum capacitors or a quality 600 ohm headset amplifier on such an affordable motherboard. Although the Crossfire support is limited to PCIe x8 for the first card and x4 for the second card, this is still more than enough bandwidth to get the most out of a pair of flagship graphics cards such as the Fury X. ASRock has also included a 4-pin Molex connector on board which can connect directly to the power supply, providing more juice to the graphics cards which they say helps improve stability. Along with the two PCIe x16 slots, there are also three PCIe x1 slots, all of which are flexible PCIe slots, meaning they can accommodate x2 and x4 length cards with limited bandwidth. Unfortunately, while affordable B150 motherboards such as the Gigabyte B150M D3H and MSI B150 PC Mate both support SATA Express and more importantly M2, ASRock's flagship B150 motherboard supports neither. Instead, we're limited to the standard 6 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, which I have to admit is disappointing. Granted, high-speed M2 storage isn't cheap, but who knows how affordable the Samsung SSD 950 Pro or an equivalent product will be in 6 to 12 months, so having the option to upgrade to such a product would have been nice. An area where the Fatality B150 Gaming K4 doesn't fall short is in its memory support. To my knowledge, as it stands, this is the only B150 motherboard that supports memory overclocking, thanks to ASRock's new non-Z Skylake overclocking BIOS update. There are a few catches, however. Primarily the fact that there are just four memory modules that currently support the B150, and the chances of you having any of these modules if you're carrying over parts from a previous build are very slim. Assuming you have the appropriate memory modules, you'll have the rare ability to run the memory at 2800 MHz, whereas all other B150 motherboards from other makers are limited to 2133 MHz. This 30% increase in clock speed won't have a significant impact on performance, but it might help you net an extra frame or two in games. Moving on, the killer E2400 gigabit network controller isn't something I would have raved about, and frankly I'm just as happy with an Intel controller. That said, cheaper H110 motherboards almost always come with a low-end Realtek solution, so in this case, I'm very happy to find the E2400 on board. Gamers will no doubt appreciate the automatic gaming traffic prioritization feature of the E2400, and I can confirm it works rather well. As mentioned earlier, Purity Sound 3 is included on this motherboard, and that's a bit of a big deal. 
Typically motherboards priced at $100 or less feature subpar audio solutions, and this isn't great news for gamers. However, the Purity Sound 3 is driven by the Realtek ALC 1150 audio codec, supporting 7.1 channel high definition audio, along with other technologies such as Pure Plugin, Direct Drive, and DTS Connect. Other exciting features include a TINE5532 headset amplifier, 115 dB SNR DAC, with differential amplifier Nishikun Fine Gold series audio caps. This audio solution is the real deal, and it's the same setup you'll find on the $230 Z170 Extreme 7 Plus. When it comes to benchmarking, we aren't going to waste your time by comparing the Fatality B150 Gaming K4 with other B150 or other Intel 100 series motherboards for that matter. As is the case with all 100 series motherboards, the memory, application and gaming performance is very much the same, and with no CPU overclocking support, this isn't a performance feature that we could test either. Had the board supported an M2 slot, we would have tested that, but as it stands, the SATA performance is as expected. While not super important, it has to be said that the Vitality B150 Gaming K4 is a seriously good looking motherboard. The oversized red aluminium heat sinks look great, and more importantly, do an excellent job of keeping the motherboard's core components cool. The IO armor shield might only be a bit of fancy looking plastic, but we like it, and the matte black PCB finishes it off all very well. Value for money, you'll be hard pressed to find anything as good, let alone better. For me, ASRock has created what is almost the perfect budget enthusiast motherboard in the Fatality B150 Gaming K4. The only thing I would change here is the storage configuration. This motherboard is just begging for an M2 slot. High speed NVMe drives are going to become plentiful next year, and MSI has put their B150 Gaming M3 in a position to capitalize on this. We just wish ASRock had have done the same. Still, the lack of M2 support certainly isn't a deal breaker on a $100 motherboard, and I understand that most Fatality B150 Gaming K4 owners will be more than content with a 2.5 inch SATA SSD, such as the Crucial BX200 or Samsung 850 Evo. One possible issue is ASRock's new Sky OC feature which enables the overclocking of non k skylic processors on any of the Z170 motherboards. This makes the ASRock Z170A X1 3.1 considerably more attractive, as you can significantly overclock affordable processors such as the Core i3-6100 or Core i5-6400. The Z170A X1 3.1 also features USB 3.1 and better multi-GPU support, though it does still lack M2 support. Overall, the ASRock Fatality B150 Gaming K4 is an incredibly good value motherboard that's really made me question how many gamers really need to spend more than $100 on their motherboard. Thanks for watching another Hardware Unboxed product review. I'm your host Matt, and if you've got any questions, I'd love to see them in the comments or on our forum at hardwareunboxed.com. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.